That didn't work, but hi, we're back. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh, the wrong button. <laughs> Why steal that? Because they're there, they're all the same buttons, they look the same as on time. Hi, everybody, welcome to Sex of the Broken Change, our part partner to what's the campaign? Extinction Curse Adventure Path. Ex Extinction Curse Adventure Path. Um, Lots of curses, less extinctions. Yeah, something along uh, the lines. No, no extinctions yet, but they're definitely coming. Well, how many of you lost have you actually um, gotten rid that, of? Uh, not enough to make hmm? them go extinct. <laughs> We've definitely yeah, we killed more than two or three. So the Tyrannosaurus Rex, at least. Wait, did you curse the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex to be extinct? Yes, yes, we did. Moving on. And we sold the meat to the circus. No, there need to be more T-Rexes so that Fidget can make more fun things. <laughs> <laughs> we need their corpses, so I guess... So many corpses. We should breed them? T-Rex farm. Yeah, we should make a T-Rex farm. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> okay, okay, moving on a little bit. Um... <laughs> Uh, Soundscape in the background for audio. Uh, they're not a sponsor, but check them out at soundscape.com because they're awesome. Um, Lauren Ross did the audio, did the music for the intro music, uh, which is awesome. Um, and Kiri Kiri Shibi did the artwork for the overlay and the character art, etc. Um, for the game. Um, and um, we are... Well, the plays are in a little bit of a predicament, but we'll get into that shortly. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a quick um, introduction of our players and our cast for today, and we'll jump straight into it. So, Lorian, would you like to start us off, please? Hi, I'm Lorian, and I'll be playing Azzy, the Kobold Kineticist, as always. Um, I, I don't have a witty introduction this week, so yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, okay, lucky. I'm Loki. I'll be playing Fidget the Fireworks Flinger, and T Rexes are from the Cretaceous period, not the Jurassic period. Okay, are dinosaur saying, fact. Are you saying movies lie to me? Always. <gasps> oh, I trust. Bollywood? Mom. God, no. Hello, I'm a sub producer. I'm playing Jake Blazing Fury. Um, yeah, it's been a day. You know, we need to actually rest at some point. Mm. Rest is the good thing. Ugh. We'll be fine. Don't need it. Well, uh, wait, aren't we literally doing that? I'm I pretty sure that is not... literally where we ended the last episode was. Uh, we're going to take a rest. Well, that was um, a short rest. There's no, no short I rest. think we're going to take a long rest. <laughs> um... Anyway, hi everyone, I'm Del. I apologize for not having the pretty little background. My computer was uh, not enjoying putting on that green screen. Um, but I will be playing Lie the... Uh... I guess we can stick with Truth. Liberated for now. Well, uh, <laughs> she is finally truth. liberated. Uh, I, she, she is liberated. No, I have this whole list of uh, different L adjectives, but they're totally escaping my mind right now. Um, the Cleric of Callistria. So, yeah, looking forward to today's game. Let's get into it. And I, I, I'm not wearing this circus coat because it's just too hot. It, it's too hot in Australia. It's just mm. too, yeah, I'm not doing it. Um, but they did, like our players <laughs> mentioned besting. Um, let's just see what we've gone through in the I last mean, given, day. Given, given her previous employment, Lyral the Lascivious? Uh, Lascivious is definitely one of the... Oh, I know. I was... Lyriel the Larcenist was my top one. Larcenist. Because um, nice. la mm -hmm. Lascivious is true, but, like, she she's still very much a thief. <laughs> um, we've also got Loathsome, Logical, Lonely, if you want to play on, you know, uh, going off on her own, and Loquacious. Hmm. I have no idea what Loquacious means. Or even how uh, verbose, it. wordy, talkative, talkative. More likely to know what loquacious means. Okay. <laughs> the, the word you're looking for there is pretentious. So, 
in, in, in the last day, or well, since last night, our players have bought a T Rex, um, plus minions. I fought three golems, plus minions, two ghosts, and ran away smartly. Um, I'm and... pretty sure there's that little candle demon guy was also demon? this day. Yeah. No, no. That no, wasn't? No. Candle demon. I oh. think it was. was the candle yesterday. demon. Was... No, the candle demon was in the forest. We came out. We were like, there's this other path. Are we going to go down it or are we going to rest with our group? And we were like, nah, fuck it. We're going to go. Uh, candle demon hey, that was that day. And I remember candle was because. The day. Fake Lyriel was like, no, I don't want these people to rest. I want these people to get fucked up. I I apologize, YouTube. Please don't like ag with us down. <laughs> We're still learning YouTube. But either oh, way. Do anything on the TikTok voice? <laughs> oh fiddle six. <laughs> um so yes, we are on YouTube. Um if you're here from our normal um Twitch. We are also live on YouTube these days, uh, but um, yeah, it's been. I don't think the I don't think the candle was the same day. It was the the night of the previous night, and you haven't really rested and gotten your spells and things back. You have since that, I believe, but you hadn't since the T Rex because you went off scouted at night. I think I could be wrong. I just know that. Spells and abilities might be a bit low. And I do know that Jake's hit points are low. Well, uh, as the spells doesn't require spell slots, and yeah, I'm a I, new character since most of those <laughs> fights. Yeah. So, I don't have um, any resources to, to keep track of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think that we were going to rest hit anyway. Points. We were going to long rest. Oh, uh, but I gave and you a. And an option to get back up and avoid the ghosts. He pissed off L'Oreal. I think L'Oreal doesn't back. know about that option. Like, that's the thing. With where we've seen, like, right now, like, you gave us the players that option, Karsh. You told us, hey, this exists. But the characters don't know that. If the characters find that out, maybe. But I think right now, at least, L'Oreal's plan is literally to just sleep outside this door. I think Fidget and Uenya are the only ones who actually know about that. Yes. <laughs> the Fidget and Uenya so went we around. We should probably get into the RP, and then we can figure out what we're actually going to do. Yeah. Okay, so let's push Absolutely. onto the map again, and let's um, get you back into the scene, and we don't need to show the map on the channel, because it's like a... I don't need to use it when in combat. But So you're halfway up. Well, you, you're pretty much near, like, at the top of what was another Aeon Tower. Um, the Aeon Stone is floating about 300 foot above the surface. You're about 200 foot above the surface. And this is about the top of the tower where you've, from behind that room, the, the rest of the, the center of the tower has collapsed in on itself. Um, in front of you is that blackness, that cold blackness that separates you from what was inside those two fun-loving dwarven ghosts. I should have grabbed the diary. We can Hello. get it when we go back in the morning. What's the plan? Are we taking a we recovery? Are we recuperating and coming back here? You want to go back in there? I want to get to the top of the tower. Uh, okay. It's right there. Yes, and I'm assuming that there is a hidden door or a staircase or something inside there. I mean, more like a big hole in the wall, but sure. There wasn't a big hole in the... Was there a big hole in the wall in that room? <laughs> there, there was another dark black archway door on like archway behind the ghosts mm. i will and i intend to investigate that when we you know murder the ghosts 
Um, we go. And I did mention Throw you're pretty much at the top. Yeah. Any 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 further layers that have gone up higher that were once higher have collapsed in on themselves. So we're like ten feet away from the edge. Look. <laughs> Can we just climb the wall then? <laughs> if you want to climb the wall, or climb the wall it... or do whatever. I'm. But screw the that. Aeon, time. The other sign's still a hundred feet above you. Yeah. I don't. Well, I need to get to wherever the creatures were fucking with that. Figure it out, see if it's something that can be fixed, or if just murdering everything here will solve it, because that worked last time, didn't it? When you say that, but you weren't there la last time. Because you, the water tower. On the other island? On the other island, yeah. No, yeah, because we've done a tower since then. I Sorry, everything's so confusing because. We found you, but it wasn't you. The you that wasn't you paralyzed in the water tower. I, uh... Well, good to know. I can check that one off. That was a bitch. I need a. F when we get back, we can pick apart what happened. Um, but for now. Are we sticking with this, or are we getting some rest? And uh, I mean, I'm going to take a nap. Well, in that case, give me one second. And she pulls an empty popcorn bag out of her mouth and swallows and then jumps. <laughs> like, eh, over the door-ish, somewhere up here. She can't jump as high as Uenya, but she can still jump pretty high. How high is high? Uh, let's see. Math. <laughs> At least 15 feet, I think. You seem fit going to be close. So you're saying I should roll for it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I don't think that's close Two. enough. How much is that going to add to you? Oh, the popcorn doubles whatever distance. What's the distance? Yeah, that's what I'm figuring out. It's been a long time since we've done jumping mechanics. <laughs> yeah. A long time. Yes. I jump. There's legacy. Uh. <laughs> If you as a spell, that's not what I'm looking for. So high jump is two actions. Um but it's a DC thirty. <laughs> that's weird. And on a success you increase your maximum vertical distance to five feet. Oh, but that's like a special thing. Just leaping. Uh, okay. I was going to say, Let's see. Oh, it doesn't say anything about high. If you leap vertically, you can move up to three feet vertically and five feet horizontally. So you can normally <laughs> leap up to three feet. If you <laughs> succeed on a high jump, you can leap up to eight feet. Or no, you can leap to five feet because that's the maximum. Is it? You're probably not making fifteen. Yeah, I, you're not making you're not making fifteen <laughs> feet. I don't think. Oh, Getting yeah. to the top of the door. 
<laughs> um, but it's not even a door, it's just like an archway. I'm just seeing Figgy mm. going to jump and then see I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, and then on top of the door. <laughs> and then uh, Wildy Coyote slides off down the door. I thought I could make that. Yeah, I, I don't think you're making it, even if you're jumping beans. Jumping's brutal unless you get DC 30. Look, we should uh, we should figure it out tomorrow morning. We don't know what we're going to find up there. I don't want to get into a fight right now. Do you want to get into a fight right now, Fidget? But it's so close. And it will be that close in the morning. Fine. Are we sure we got the good Lyriel? We got the practical Darling, Lyriel. Darling, you know Lyriel is, it... is a good Lyriel. <laughs> we have the practical Lyriel. First off, they're the... advocating... Oh, sleep, yeah, they are not not all, you don't have anything. <laughs> what? I am my own person. I'm not good. I've never been good. You just said practical. I'm just not a fucking demon. Always a good start. I'll take your word for it. I've never been a demon. Well, you apparently you have now. Oh, yeah. I'm so tired. tired. Let's see. I'm just going to tuck into this little corner and I'm going <laughs> to take a nap. What are the other people doing? I guess I'll keep watch. Yeah, I was just thinking we should uh, probably keep watch because we're right at the front door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right at the front door. Yeah. Look, Lyriel hasn't had a good sleep in a while. That's um, fair. But, but if her you one consistent when she was sleeping is enemies are definitely near. So if enemies are near right now, it doesn't really make much of a difference. <laughs> Before you settle down, as he's just going to come up and make, hey, we've got a camp a little ways away if you want a proper night's rest. You seem like you really could use it. We Rather on this cold, hard this ground. Here. I've dealt with cold, hard ground for a while, Asi. Yeah, Old so... hard ground right now is fine if we don't lose our progress. If I don't lose my progress. Okay. I'm going to ask you this once and once only. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, I trust you then. I'll keep watch. We just need a sign. Don't trust Lario. <laughs> As he does. I think I did have that <laughs> sign up, but it was on the previous page. Larry just thinks it's weird that that's the thing that he's like, I'm going to ask this once and once only. Are you sure you don't want to take a nap somewhere else? Like, that's a... I show you the good line? Like, cool, I appreciate only having to answer that once. <laughs> it's... Uh... So what are the others doing? It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's literally a strategy I've developed in real life to deal with anxiety. Just being like, no, I'm going to ask, I'm, between my partner and I, I was just like, no, I'm just going to ask, we're gonna, you can say, are you sure, one time, and that's all you're allowed to say. Because <laughs> otherwise, just back and forth, are you sure? No, are you sure? But are you sure? I'm anxious. Are you sure? It's just like... <laughs> in, I would do the opposite. I would like the... Anyway... Um, because that way, that way, you know, it's like if someone asks, Are you sure? You've got to actually seriously consider whether you are sure because they're only going to ask you once. But I like being so silly and ways. pushing it either way. So, relationships. Lario think... has tucked themselves into the corner and propped themselves up and just started to drift off to sleep. Mm -hmm. nope. what, what are the others doing? You, you. Fair way up off the ground. You're near 200 feet off the ground. It's taking an awful long time, but we're getting in here one at a time. Sorry for that little bit of a technical issue. But on the upside, we're all now sleeping and, a, and getting a long rest. <laughs> There's nothing to see here. 
Unless someone wanted to do a scene. No, Dad okay. was pretty much going to just go, you know what? Sleep is a good idea. Sleep. Okay. Sleeping is Just you a do. montage of butchering. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? Hey, what I have a lot of two to process. Process butchering, yes. Gotcha. That's why you have a bag of holding to carry T Rex meat. I presume we set up like a, a, a watch rotor or something. Yeah, we would. Yeah. yeah. For his watch, as he's just going to be sitting with his legs, sitting on the edge with his legs just kicking in the air, looking at... Looking adorable. The long oh, way yeah. down. Yeah, that doesn't bother him. I wake up and it's, push him. It's, it's, <laughs> That's a joke. I, mean, I don't do that. Should, but he, he likes being he likes being up in high places. I did scare my cat. When I said that. Yeah. Oh, Karma. Karma. <laughs> it's okay. She needs to be awake. She gets food in three minutes. <laughs> okay, so you've had your rest. Nothing happens overnight. There was a little bit of like a almost a movement in the in the tower itself. Um. You hear rocks moving and like and just like movement and like for those who are in the first tower, there was that little bit of like a shuddering and not quite earthquake, but like you you feel that every now and then throughout the night. But otherwise, that's about it. The iron stone keeps on circling about a hundred feet above you. And that blackness, in the blackness of that door that goes into the building proper. So if we can't go through it and we can't go over it, then we got to go around it. That's how the song goes, right? <sighs> yes. I mean, right. we could try again going through it. I have um. Is there another way in? Kind of. What do you mean, kind of? I mean, it was pretty high up. Higher than I think this was. But it was over on the, on the other side. What do you see? You want us to just scale the side of this tower? I don't know what you can do. I've never met you before, apparently. Fitch, you have. Remember? You've met me yeah. before. <laughs> we went through all of Moonstone Hall. Yeah, that wasn't the other one. Were... Yeah, no, no. We, we I... met when you were played by a different per play uh, player. <laughs> 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 yes, it was the other person. <laughs> but you. Well, yeah, the other but person. he's never met the real Larry. No, it's still but... midget. <laughs> um, you know we. Met you and your sisters by the creek. You've met me. Well, I've met other you, but what about you, you? When did... I still don't really understand any of it. Okay, so from what I, from what I can understand, from what Assy said, um, you met me, me, when you first met me. Okay. You remember when all your sisters were there and Van was being an idiot? Yes. He was with us. Fantastic. <laughs> right. <laughs> then we went through Moonstone Hall, had all that fun stuff. Got did away with the menagerie, all of that stuff, and then I left. And then whenever you met the other me, the fake me, that was fake me. And now I'm real me. Hmm. So not me me anymore. Helpful? Anyway. Yeah, very, very helpful. I didn't anyway. ask you. Oh, thank you. I missed you too. Was genuinely trying to help Fidget. I know. <laughs> so, are we going to go around the other side of the building and have a look at this scaling cliff, or are we going to go through this big room of giant things that are going to probably try to kill us again? I, I mean, those things are horrible. I can make us resistant to cold. That. That would do it. And at least three of us have the reflection of life. Is 
Is that the thing where you can control water? No, it's no? something else. Okay. Not you, Fidget. You don't. It it was at the last tower oh, when. I I really need to pop to the loo. I'm really sorry. I'm holding it. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> um. So, boats. Fidget, do you really want to go look at the other side? I mean, if you want to go through, I'll follow you. I'm just not going first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we would get the journal if we went through. But they seem pretty mad about that. Yeah. Uh, Jake, your vote. Uh. Can I roll a, what type of roll would I need to roll to figure out how easy it would be to scale the wall? This is a ca uh, cash question. Um, we call knowledge athletics. Okay. We could also just scale this 15 foot wall instead of the other one. In theory. So how big was the other one? Um, with a success, um, that would climb the wall. Mm -hmm. Um, so mm -hmm. a 30. It's, it's, it's a little bit easier than normal because there's a little bit of a slope to the wall. Yeah. So this would be a lot easier than going any other way is what you're saying. Well, I'm saying that if the, if it was a vertical wall, it'd be a 32 but because there's sloped walls, it's a 30. Okay. Well, for me, there'll be That's 10 like, that I can give, throw a rope down and help other people come up. Yeah, I would need an 18. Like, I would need to roll an 18 on the die. <laughs> a rope mm -hmm. um, would make it much easier. Okay. I mean, I, I also have other ways that I can get up this wall, but... Hmm. <laughs> so... Uh, what way is that? Oh, Lyra, that's that's Del saying that, not Lyriel. Okay. Uh, so we, if I could probably climb up this wall, throw a rope down, and then we could get everyone else up over this section. Saves us the time going around the building trying to find a, a better wall. You just want to go up and over. All right. Sure. Okay. And well, with um, GM approval, I'm going to roll the athletics to try to run up the wall. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could also like propel you upwards if you. All right, that's and then sort of. There is that okay. option. All right, we'll do that then. Uh, what who do you want to roll first, Kash? As if for assist. Um, how's the propel? assist is the fucking water thing that just. Yeah, I mean that's... it is, but like, so I've got I think that, that just it. works. That's not an assist. That yeah. just happens. Yeah. It's a damaging thing. So I want to just. Yeah. I want to basically. What would I need to roll to like do that in a controlled way to be more of like helping rather than like a violent storm. I mean, let you know that I have, well, you saw it, I have an athletics of 16. I just have to roll, it's a 50 50. I would say an arcana versus AC to half the damage. So, to, to, to like to pull the damage and try to control it enough. It's still only going to do half damage. Essentially, it's going to be a saving throw, but you're doing the saving throw for them. Why doesn't Jake can, just try first? Which then, yeah, which then Jake can then do another saving throw to... to Jake's going to just run up. Okay. For a 30. There you there go. go. Uh, and I'm doing it on this side because I'm um, dynamic lighting layers. Mm -hmm. yep. so Jake's which means I can take one light line off the dynamic lighting layer. Okay. Jake um, runs up, throws a rope down to give assist. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to wait at the bottom for Fidget and Elsie to go first. What, do, what is a success for me? What is a success? Uh, yeah, he's in the rope. Yep. Um, if it's an ordered rope, it is automatic. Cool. Leave. Then up and I that go. Just, that's just going to take you a little bit of time to knot the rope. And can I can I use acrobatics to use like the wind to help? Yes, it's automatic. You don't have to roll. It was a knotted rope, which it is. Oh, okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, don't so mind I, me. I'm, I'm just going to yeah. be doing some weird dynamic lighting fixes. Yeah. I I am just changing a few things to then allow me to delete the dynamic okay. lighting that's already set here. Mm -hmm. okay, Does so... Azzy head up? Yep. Okay. And Ariel will go behind them. Yep. There you go. Cool. So you can right, you can't see the over button. the line above you. Mm -hmm. Like there's the the ridge above you, but you can see like there's a like the collapse. You know there's a collapse there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, fidget knows. Mm. Now, now you know. Now we know. Yeah. Now you know. Yeah. Hey, GI Joe. Huh. Well. Well, I that's wonder. a divot. Okay. Um. Can I get a um, reflex save, please, from both Azzy and Lario? Yeah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> we got too close. It's okay. I was you... planning on going down there anyway. Right. As you grab the edge, as you get to the you get to the edge and it collapses some forty feet below. But you both grab the edge. Oh, this is so wait, this is how far down this hole? Forty feet. Shit. Is it directly straight down or is it kind of like a slide? Because it looks like a slide. It's down. Okay. It, it, it's a, it's effectively enough a going to be a forty foot drop. Okay. With the with the sides and whatnot and the jagged bits and pieces that are falling with you, but you both grab the edge. You both now yeah. dangling on the edge of the collapsed stone. Uh, Jake, care to throw down that rope and we'll climb down? Yeah, but do you like me to grab you first? I'll nope, pull just up. throw the rope. <laughs> Sooner rather than later, preferably. Throw his rope. I'm <laughs> going to start climbing down on the rope. You don't end. No, just throw the rope. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm tempted to ask you. When I'm just going to go back down. <laughs> Never going to keep me down. Um, is anyone helping Lorian up? Who's dangling from the edge right now? Lauren, uh, you, Azzy, Azzy, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll pull, I'll pull myself up and then make my way over to the rope. Okay. So assume ropes in the square that Azzy's in. Yeah, I'll do a little doodle, a draw. Doodle, 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 doodle. 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 So, what the? Okay, and knotted rope down that amount of distance. Any rolls, or you're all good? No, like, there's no roll needed. Okay. Why is that not working for me? Uh, I there would we like go. to make a, like, okay, there we go. We'll go at the, so the, the bottom of the rope. Yeah. So um, when you get down there, like, this is whatever interior the tower had mm -hmm. is long since collapsed into itself. Yeah. So it would have had something vault underneath or something big underneath to go down this far because yeah. 100 feet up is now 40 feet down. Hmm. Yeah. There are no other rooms here. Can I investigate? Do I think that the bottom of this is in danger of collapsing further? How are you investigating? Uh... 
Just looking yeah. around, I want to see if I can spot any like solidness under the rubble. Um, you know, testing a few things like pushing over a rock and seeing if it causes a ripple effect or if it just tumbles down and stops. I could throw something at it. Can I make a perception check? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just like, I can throw something at it. I'm waiting for something explosive. Is he coming down the rope or are they going to sit at the top? Uh, I'm waiting for now. Okay. Can I make the perception yeah. check? You can make a perspe- perception check. Yeah. Uh, 26. Um, the, this has certainly been like weathered over a long time. Okay. Um, the the stones look like like the bolt. Some of the bolts are massive. Look like they've been moved and they've shifted over mm-hmm. time from settling. Um, but at the same time, you see that some um, there has been movement recently in some yeah. of the rock and whatnot. Like it's not settled, and that last night would have been evidence of said movement. Where, mm-hmm. Well, you didn't feel it, but others did feel that the yeah. place is still settling a little bit um, and movement. And you see what looks to be a, um, a skeleton in a boulder, like under one of the boulders, <laughs> like down further south. Fully decomposed? Pretty much. It's been a while. Okay. But, at the same part, they're wearing armor, which is still perfectly shiny, as what well, always is the part. Um, <laughs> it's like it might be magical, then. It's can not- I it's- just carefully make my way over there? Yep. This is all difficult terrain. Yeah. I'll, I'm taking it slow. That out there. I'm there's taking no, it There's slow. no taking it fast in this. This is all <laughs> difficult terrain. It skitters and yeah. boulders. It slips a little bit as you move. It's mm-hmm. all unsteady. Oh, um, okay. okay, well. I go over here. Down the rope I go. <laughs> As okay. my moves, I think I would be following line, but I wouldn't be interrupting them. Oh, gods. I just want to point out for those watching, I did not move anything. You just put on the turn order, though. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. No, I, as in where you place your your token, and I did not move anything. Ah, oh, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what else oh. say? Ah, flip. That it's is adorable. Adorable. This is, this is where the skeleton calling. is, correct? In that area, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Because that's, yeah. I, I don't know why, but my brain just went, this is like a nice little open patch. Yeah, uh, like you're like right yep. here. So I'm like, there's a skeleton here, <laughs> and then I was like, all right, guess I'm gonna go there. As I did Jeff. say I was following, and I am very carefully uh, stepping over these rocks. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, uh, it, it's you. You don't have a chance of like. There's no. I'll tell you this. There's no like falling in, but it's all yeah. really difficult terrain. As in. Yeah. Like as you move the like the ground skitters underneath you and moves underneath you type situation. Yeah. Like, that's kind of where it's yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like when Lyriel's moving, like she's moving very slowly, very trepidatiously, yeah. like almost stealthily, in terms of like she's trying to not affect the world around her as much as humanly possible. And we have a handout for you. Doing the Fairbanks shuffle. Oh, that's I've got four. That is really unsettling. Soul? Not Cousin Jeff. Yeah. It's it's a giant naked mole rat. Yeah. It's with four eyes. Oh, it has four eyes? I didn't even notice yeah. that. I hey think there, the two giant teeth is what's them. Yeah, the iridescent <laughs> teeth were definitely taking up a lot of my attention. So, um, I don't know about you, but I'm rolling initiative. If you don't roll initiative, then um, there's no one to uh, beat an initiative. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll roll initiative. As, I, as the I ground underneath you moves and see. shakes. We were and, waiting! Yeah. <laughs> yes, the whole... 34, motherfuckers. Again, sorry, YouTube. Um, 28. 
You're not on YouTube oh, right yeah, now. Sorry. Wait, no, not minute. live on YouTube. But, um, I roll a so nine, I get 28. The, the ground moves and shakes underneath you, and the boulder starts sinking in as something is big moving underneath you, coming up. Um, but you do get somewhat some warning. Yeah. Um. Honestly, with this setup, I'm surprised it wasn't an antlion. A what? An antlion. It's a it's a really big bug that that hangs out at the bottom of a pit, and it eats all the bugs that fall into the pit. Ooh. Can we yeah. change that? What difficulty is it? Uh, well, they're <laughs> like two we inches long. So going with what we got. <laughs> like a like a real, real, real I, I I also say this um, to your right. Um, you can see forty foot above. Um, a black black hole um, over here. If you went through that, you would have fallen. Cool. Hmm. So, cool. Yep, we got it. Um, but either way, Lyra, you uh, you act first at thirty four. Uh, yeah. So I am. I so I can see this thing. This thing has fully you, come the, out now. The, the ground is moving underneath you. Don't see it, but you know something's coming. Pretty much. Okay. Well, I would like to uh, ready. Okay, so with my first action, I will cast shield upon myself. Uh, with my second action, I will take the ready action to ready savor the sting as soon as I see this thing. Okay. Oh, uh, do we not see it yet? Well, Karsh said that I don't see it. Okay. Karsh said yeah. that I can tell it's coming, yeah. but it's not there. Yeah. So you know it's coming. You know something Wait. big's about to emerge from underneath you, like right underneath your feet type that situation, but it's not yeah. there there. Um, Featured. Again, you can feel, you can see that in the distance that something's coming up from underneath where Lyo is. And Lyo's preparing spells Which and I getting ready. I think the point of beating it in initiative if it's not there yet. If you want to run away. I mean, run away? It for you. <laughs> uh, so once again, combat drives me to drink. Fun, fun. Uh, I, Don't I, drink I, and drive, boys and girls. <laughs> yeah, drink and fight instead. Drink and be six years old. <laughs> I, I turn into that armadillo <laughs> form again. If it's <laughs> in, your, in your state or country. Fidget is six years old. Also, laws <laughs> don't exist at the Aeon Towers. It's true. They're <laughs> We're outside the jurisdiction. <laughs> he was a kind of a dick anyway. He was. <laughs> Which one? Aridin, the god of the Aeon Towers. Um, yeah, true. Good point. Got a civilization. And then for my third action, I start juggling. <laughs> well, you were seeing antline juggling, is that right? Okay. <laughs> no, we see a, a, a rat armadillo juggling. A rat armadillo, mm -hmm. even better. Okay. So the giant, the giant mole rat, naked mole rat, comes, emerges from the ground. Um, and. Uh, uh, and my. Reaction goes off. Reaction goes off. Uh, savor the sting. Uh, they have to make a will saving throw. That DC should be 29. I don't know why it keeps being wrong. Okay. Um, cut through the fog. Before you play, you attempt, play before you attempt a will saving throw. You succeed. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> uh, he still takes five. Or six, since you round up mental damage. I didn't think it was too, like I'd ever get to play that, but that was the one I drew today. <laughs> I didn't expect mental saves against this, but anyway. Um, Come up with the things that can fucking kill this. <laughs> murder it. You are going to murder it, let's face it. But. It's possibly going to murder you first. How many times are we? How many murders are we going to talk about tonight? Today, Six. well, I'm going to murder all the things. It Six. is its home, <laughs> so it's going to try to um, bite you first. Um, 
So fighting first. 45 to hit is a natural critical. Uh, yeah. Oh dear. Uh, even shield? The shield that's even take it. That's a 20. Oh. Natural critical is what I said. Natural 20. Um, oh dear. So we'll, we'll bring the... Um, it is a it is a biting attack, so it is a piercing, I believe. Yes. How dare you use um, two cards against me <laughs> in the span of okay. thirty seconds? So, um, there is a, a persistent bleed. Okay. It's a it's a d six persistent bleed. Give me a sec for that, and then we'll do the actual what's happening elsewhere else. Four persistent bleed. Okay. So that kicks in at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. um, unless it's dealt with, which your healer, um, you take fifty six damage. Oh, um, if your shield gives you anything protection from that, yay! Uh, actually, yeah, I can use the shield block. I think. Um, Plus one yeah. So AC. I can no. Let me I. I know what my shit does, MLP. Or at least I'm, <laughs> I've got it up as opposed to, like, I let oh, me... No. Yeah, so, fun. I could use shield block, but I've actually already used my reaction to do the thing. So, yeah. No. It's... Uh, yeah. I can't use shield block because uh, I already used my reaction. So, I just take all that. Okay. But shield um, remains up. How much armor do you... Like, what's the... So, how much hit points do you armor have? Uh, my armor? Yeah. Like, that armor. I'm wearing? Yeah. I don't know. It's leather armor. You, you asked me about the hardness, is that right? Yeah. That's... Uh -oh. Uh, oh, sorry. How many hit points of the hardness? Uh... Because he's... Does some of that go to the armor instead? No. That... The armor takes the same amount, so the armor oh, takes the armor is fifty-six gone. points of damage as well. I am sure the armor has less than fifty-six points of damage. Okay, and can I have a fortitude saving throw, please? Sure. They it's say my worst thirty-two. Saving throw. Cool. Um, I guess I'll re-roll that, so I Nothing. am out of cards. <laughs> um, but it would be bad for me to fail that, so. I don't want to at least critically fail it. So I don't critically fail it. I just normal fail it. Okay. So you normal fail it. Um, and you are now poisoned. Cool. Great. I should have just critically failed it. Poisoned. So you wouldn't want to critically fail this. Um, what does the poison do? Um, on the end of your round, it'll kick in for the first tick. Okay. For stage cool. one. Cool, cool, cool. Lovely. Well, it's got two other actions. Does it want to murder me outright? I mean, I could. But didn't it take one action to, like, emerge? Fun to move, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, Fun to, yeah. to emerge, yeah. Um, if you're not going to let me hit it on my turn, then it should take one to emerge. Yeah, I was going to do that. I wasn't going to do two. Um, yeah. It'll do a, um, a claw attack for a second. Cool. 35 to hit. Hits, not a crit. That's not a crit. No. Without armor? Okay. No. Um, armor you... literally only boosts my AC by one. <laughs> God. And I uh, still have shield up. My yes, AC is 27. 15 slashing damage. Still half the hit points I had remaining. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's it. That's his two goes. That's the emerge. Okay, I can heal myself. Jake. Hmm. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> and all this is difficult terrain, isn't it? Yep. Yes, it is. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Why does it sound I have penalties of zero, but it shouldn't? Oh, penalties on my speed. It's your shooting. 
40. 30 is 60. Yep, that's as far as I can move. Actually, no. Uh, Azzy, quick question. When you put mm-hmm. your Open your Connect gate, yes. will I be hit in that area? Where you're standing right now, yes. Yes. Cool. Well, then I'll delay my turn to after Azzy. <laughs> <laughs> that's been good. Hmm? I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so you delay to, say, 22. 22. There you go. I think it's your go instead. Surprising nobody. Kinetic gate. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I will use the free action to fire a, a blast at this thing. Mm-hmm. How far away is it? Uh, I can't do... I have to do air. So, a blast of lightning for 23 to hit. 23 to hit is not a hit didn't think so um but that's for free and then i am going to move use so i'm about to use a two action impulse which means i can move for free, half my speed for free which is difficult to rain so i could probably go like there mm-hmm. um and oh, 40 what's the range of this probably 30 Four wins. 30 feet of me. Yep. Fuck. In that case, I am instead going to stay where I am. And I'm going to... Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it, uh, what I was gonna do because we need to close this gap and get there. So I'm gonna move, and I'm gonna use four wins uh, for me, Jake, and Fidget. So we can all move our uh, our speed for free. Actually, sorry, I'm gonna do that first so that everyone has the Jake has the extra speed. Okay. So, is, is what I'm hearing is that Loki and Jake can move right now for free. Yes. Four yes. wins. Yep. Uh, uh, because I'm level 10, that is your full speed. Okay. And I worked out the reason why I was having problems with my speed. Apparently something got turned on, which shouldn't have. Okay. So I do have full 25. So 5, 10, 20. That's the full well, because it's um, difficult to rain, I can only really move that far. Yeah. Yep. And I have moved as well. <laughs> okay. And then I will move as well. And then I can, yeah. That's so fast far. Um, I'll, in fact, I'll stay there just, yeah. To help with the connect. Exactly. Okay. Jake, now it's your go. Okay. You're a little bit closer? So, a little bit closer. Hey, that's that's a turn. So five so ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Sixty. Move one more. 70. Okay. Using all three actions to move? Yep. Yep. Plus the free for starting the connect gate. But that just, when you start, it just increases your speed by 10. Oh, then I can actually make it there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Just. So you can make it there. Yeah. If that's the case, then I can move there. And then, does then if that's the case, then I use sudden charge and hit it with my big giant maul. 
Try to make Thanks. myself look like a tasty morsel. Alright. That's a bad roll. That is a bad roll. That's a that bad roll for me. That's 23. Also, you're, you should definitely have more than plus 18 to hit. Check. I'll check that while we're moving on. Yeah. And I'm just had to update the overlay because you had one hit, one your point, which I hadn't put on. Okay, you're uh, fine to that. That does not add up. Okay. Um, well, that's happening. Lario, I think we're going. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to cast a two action heal on myself. Yep. 47. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, I should have a plus 21 to hit. Sorry. That is a shitty, shitty roll. Um, oh, wait. One second. <laughs> we're all, we're all sure. questioning our roles oh, right now. It was at the it was at the wrong level. It was at the wrong level. That's why it's so bad. I was like, I don't think it's possible to be that bad. It was that was because that was a fourth level, not a fifth level. I'm casting from my font. So it should be fifth. Sorry. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> okay. Um and Sorry. Mr. Light Producer, what was Jake's attack with the extra uh it's I have a plus twenty one to hit. Okay. So, what did you hit with that? I'm working on that now. Yeah. 21. It would have been 23 plus 3, so 26. 26. Right? Still no. Okay. Um, but the more you know. Yeah. And then I am going to cast uh, Shield again. No longer bleeding. Shouldn't be. I'm healed up to full. Still poisoned. Yeah, well, uh, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 12 plus 7. Um, so you cast shield, we'll do the poison yep. tick, and then we'll do the next save for the poison. Cool. So fortitude for the poison, please. Cool, cool, cool. Can do. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. 19. Okay. Um, when you... You take 10 points of poison damage. You are mm -hmm. slowed. Slowed one? Slowed one. Cool. Um, you critically failed that. So you go to stage three. Um, you don't want to be stage three. <laughs> am I doing oh, that right, Loki? Shit. I think I am. Uh, I, I'm assuming so, yes. Yeah. I, I, I'm yeah. pretty sure I... Poison's one of those weird ones which is like I've had to read several times over the years. Yeah. Yeah. Crit fail means you go down two steps. Yeah. Um, so that happened at the end of the turn. Which yeah. means it's my turn. <laughs> which means it is Fidget Sco. Uh, let's see, I'm inside, so my speed is plus 10 divided by 2, 20. Speed plus 7. <laughs> X to 10. I am now close enough that I don't have any penalties on throwing my bombs. So I will throw a single acid flask and an alchemist fire. Those are the wrong ones. But... Those both missed. Okay. That's all I got. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to do an any mini money mo. Same the same target. Sorry. Plus four, seven. Um, thanks for um for Lario. Mm-hmm. Thirty two to hit. Winter redemption. There we go. Um so take resistance instead of it becomes enfeebled if you do that. So you'll have a penalty to hit and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you still take some damage, don't you? So I get resistance equal to your level, right, Jake? Uh, 
uh, damage to two plus my level. So you'll be oh, okay. so resistance more. twelve. Okay. So resistance twelve, but you still took twelve points of damage. Uh, okay. Nope, that's not what I want her to do. We've all been there. Uh, and now it's going enfeebled two. Uh, oh, it's a two. Um, and then minus 12. Okay. okay. And two more attacks. All um, against me. <laughs> well, I did the enemy money mo. 22 is a miss, I believe. Yeah. 34. Uh, 34 is a hit. Um, 17 slashing damage. Cool. That's not I'm PC. I'm going to... So that is, Seth, that is a different damage type. and not. I'm going to use my reaction to shield block that. So uh, it. I only take two damage because uh, my shield has hardness at 15. Okay. But I can't cast shield again. So. For 10 minutes. Okay. This spell will last longer than 10 minutes when you see a doctor. <laughs> nope. I'm fine. You good? Yep. Okay. Just I think I've fixed. I think I've fixed them all. Okay. So. Um, that's its go. Still able to hit on the minus 10. Azzy. Okay, I'm, um, firstly, I'm going to just spend two actions to, uh, just shoot a fucking lightning bolt right through it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, dragon breath. 43 electricity damage with a 29 save. Reflex saving, 27 ails, takes 43 electricity. And then there go. I am going to uh, twist the wind. Um, and uh, basically, as Jake swings, I'm going to have the wind come through and like blow his uh, swing in such a way that he can like spin around and take another strike. Uh, as I do, technically, so I got the um, message, technically, but I'm reflavoring it, uh, amplified with a focus point. Um, so you can attack as a reaction. Check. Okay. Yeah. So I'm guessing that your character class just breaks all the action economy. Yes. That's what I've been yeah. seeing for the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. And I've always said the action economy, the three-part action economy, doesn't really have exemptions. Apparently until now. Okay. Okay, well, apparently, hopefully not everything's fixed. So I can hit with the giant small. Mm hmm All right, 31. Misses. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's a that's a big mess. Thirty-one okay. is a mess. I probably should have saved that focus point because those are both my focus points. But never mind. That's uh, you know, how I feel about mine, which got shot down with the card, and I was like, "Okay, well, that nine persistent mental damage could have been really helpful because we don't have to roll yeah. for that." So, Karsh is just fucking up all the focus points, isn't he? <laughs> Hey, at least my at least my big lightning thing went through. Oh yeah, and the splash damage got corrected. Thank you, Loki. Yeah, twenty-seven. Misses. Nope. Misses. I'm sure I think there's anything else I can do. But technically, if the it was a reaction as an attack. Yeah, that's just a good point. What do I need to roll for a cold knowledge in this creature? Um. I think they're natural. Oh, well. Seems natural. It, yeah, it's, it's a it's, it's rare, but it's a natural beast. <laughs> All right, well, natural it is. I am probably gonna fail it, but 
I got nothing else I can do. 19. That's actually pretty good for nature roll for me. <laughs> you would have needed like a 20. I know. Yeah, no, I I'm not giving you anything it. for that. I almost got it. I'm not giving you anything for that, sorry. It's just, no. That's all right. But I've made everyone laugh in their own hearts. <laughs> Tenth level when you got plus one to nature. I don't think it's your strong point. Just don't think it's your strong point. No, it's not my strong point. <laughs> um, Lyriel. Yeah. So. Last uh, load. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna cast neutralize poison. Um, so I don't know what that attack roll is. Uh, or oh, it just rolled for me. I think. I think it added nineteen. So yeah, I'm, that doesn't neutralize it. I think. Um, no. Well, actually, yeah. What uh, level is the poison? Not like what level do I have? Like what level is the poison itself? Um, the creature is a level twelve. I don't have poisons on Poise. like levels. Uh. Yes, I did say level 12 creature. I'm pretty sure that that's not how that works, but uh, we'll see. Um, I think I just need... Because the poison should be... Let's see, it's a DC 32, right? Correct. Um, let's see if I can reverse engineer it to what would <laughs> that level be. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that that's correct. Um, nothing more simple says, than the counteracting rules. It says failure, so I'll just go with it's a failure. Um, I'm assuming that attack roll was like a like a second saving throw against its it, DC equal. No, it's a counteract check. It's not actually an attack roll. I don't know why it says attack roll, but it's a counteract check. Yeah. It's like a second saving throw, but using your spell DC. A spell. It's not a saving throw. DC is the afflictions step yeah. DC. So you're, you're rolling against the DC of the poison itself. Yes, that's, but, that's I'm not yeah. but I'm not making a saving throw in the sense that if I yeah. fail it, it gets worse. If I, fail I that's it, what it I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew. Yeah, I knew. I was thinking, just yeah. couldn't vocalize it properly. Yeah. Um, but no, that's not the the thirty two that you needed. Well, I'm slowed, so that's it. That's all I got. That's all you got. All You're got. slowed from the first one. You take forty six points of damage which is only 11 but that's not the problem as you turn into a statue great feature it you see Lario stop. Essentially. Mm. Um, you are paralyzed. That's different from turning into a statue. Well, so you, you're paralyzed, but so not statue, but you're paralyzed. <laughs> you definitely need those are two completely yes, okay. different things that it is very important to distinguish between. Mm. If I turn into a I statue, I need a very specific spell to unfuck me. Called new character. Yeah. So you <laughs> um and so I do. I I you're paralyzed. Thank you. Even spell mm. different thing. Well, let's see if we can bring so, that AC down a little bit. For nine hours. So, practice juggling? Uh, I'm guessing a 31 doesn't hit, just like it didn't hit before. 31 doesn't hit. Okay, like it didn't four before. mental splash. 
I don't Elemental even know splash. how Mental Splash works. I, I, um... <laughs> it tells them bad stories when we're in high school. And it insults throw. them. Even worse. Hmm, third action. Let's see, I've got nothing that can help with paralyzation. I know of things that can help with paralyzation, but I don't have them. <laughs> Yet. Yet. Yeah, you would need the, or at least the only thing I know of is the Flesh to Stone spell, which for some reason is level six. So, can't even cast Just that out yet. Of and sure, I'll throw bad after good. My turn's done. And missing. <laughs> so many splash damages. But splash damages are hitting. <laughs> Yeah, splash damage is helping. Mm -hmm. I've done a total of 20 damage so far. More than me. Mm. Well done. Um, now that one prey is poisoned, or so is paralyzed, not statue, goes after the other prey. Mm -hmm. With the bite. Yep. And misses, I believe, for the 29? Uh, no, 28 hits for me, apparently, at the okay. moment. 28 hits? Oh, sorry, no, oh, you are, I am wrong. Something's wrong with my sheet. My AC is 29 at the moment. Yeah. Hmm. No, it misses. Hey. Because that's actually, oh, it's not 29, that's like, I think that's 28 because of the afflictions on it, anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's still enfeebled. Yeah. Enfeebled. Okay. Um, so misses. Great. Um, try for Clawson. I survived once. 35. I, survived, I didn't survive second. Oh, well. 34, yeah. Um, damage 12. Okay. And that also goes into your um, um, armor as well. It ignores 10 of the armor's um, hardness <laughs> with that 12. Okay, let me just check that. What's this one as a third attack? A third time? Uh, it'll do a third attack. I'll try that as well. Okay. Um, I just try to find the split mail. Miss. The hardness of the split mail. Okay. And then it says he's go. Okay. Um... I, I don't have anything. I, I hit things, so I'm just going to keep doing that. <laughs> yeah, that um, nice. yeah, what I'm going to do is... Actually, no, that's probably a really bad idea. Yeah, sure. I'm going to cast uh, Aerial Boomerang. Wow, ten! Wow, that's awful. Yeah, that's ten really slashing. Um, and it's going to go through a line. There's a reflex save in there too. And then I'm going to use the uh, free air movement from casting a two action can it air impulse to move forward a bit more okay um so the, the basic yeah. save is half damage takes five yep. damage five damage um and then it uh, comes back uh, to you yes can you read the um, rules on the armor hardness again? That feels very, very over overpowered for just a standard attack. I just posted. It is very, very overpowered. The AC, I mean, the hardness and HP of every type of armor. Yes, yeah, I saw it. So ten twenty. Any time. Uh, oh wait, so no, it's not. It wasn't a critical hit, so it's not. 
I thought so because taking away yeah. armor on a normal hit sounds yeah, no, very. It wasn't okay. a critical. <laughs> wasn't a critical. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about calling you about that. I was like, no, mm. it's me. It's All me. right, and then my last action, I'm going to blast it with some water. Twenty-seven hit misses, I presume. Twenty-seven is a miss. Hey, yeah, that's my turn. No, you're totally right. Like it's critical only. I'm. I don't know. I'm getting a lot wrong today. I'm very sorry, everybody. It's all right. Uh, it is your go, Jake. Well, um, hmm. Is there anything I can do to imp improve our chances to hit it? Uh, You're not flanking. Look, I can't flank with a paralyzed person. True. <laughs> it's true. Uh, you know what? Is that? I can do this once a day. Hopefully, it's not going to be annoying. I am going. Uh, with all my other stuff being incorrect, this is not going to work. I think I cast slow. Mm. Mm, I hate that. Let's see, fortitude. It's possible to fail it. 35. That, that's against my spell dice. How much? 35? 35. So that would success, be... but not critical. Okay. Alright, so it's slowed for one round. And then my next turn is trying to hit it with the big giant hammery thing. Which hopefully will hit. Alright, 37. That's a hit. For a 19. For hopefully. 9 points of damage. Pardon? Nothing. <laughs> it's bludgeoning damage. It's not slashing with the threat more. Except bludgeoning. Nice. <laughs> like, I knew it's, I knew it's physical, and then it's like, except this is lodgings in there. Nice. Sorry about that. It's just like, no, it's 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 it's, it's yeah. The golems didn't have bludgeoning, but this one does. Okay, good. It's, okay, and that's my turn. So it's slowed one for the next turn and i hit it i have i think that's a sufficient thing mm -hmm. and now i'll check through my spells yeah, and see I've got to go. I've got to go to the loo again sorry okay so oh. lario um lario can do i don't know if there's anything you can do do i make another roll or anything or do i just chill because i've just been chilling okay. can you, you know make a little song playing in my head can you make a fortitude save? To like stop this? To stop the poison and keep you on ticking, because that's still there. Cool. Will it go down? Yeah. Probably but the, you're still paralyzed, but the poison will go down. That's a no. I'm pretty when you said it's a thirty two. Yeah, if they're high. Yeah, I would I would need an eighteen. Yeah, still... I could treat I could I could treat poison on myself except I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm paralyzed. Gone. Yeah. Cuz I'm really good at treating poison. Yeah. I'm really good at anything involving medicine. But, Is it uh... wrong you just want to go over and and see if I can just put your hands together so you can touch yourself so you can actually cast a spell? I think uh, other I, things are needed. Other things yeah. are needed and it, yeah, other things are needed and Ariel's yeah. not a fan of people touching without permission. Um, That's why I was not going to do it. Yes. Yeah. 17 points of poison damage. 6 through. <laughs> so, it's not easy. It's not a good one. Pitch it. Have you got a solution? Um... None that don't require an attack roll. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's see, I am still hoping that the Dread Ampule will hit, so I'm going to keep throwing that. And some persistent damage will be nice, so I'll also keep throwing the Acid Flask. Mm. 
That's again a no. That's a no. And a very no. <laughs> oh. Oh, ho, ho. That's not a crit fail, is it? Not a natural one. Phew. No. No, it was a three. <laughs> okay. And then. Mm. And then. Let's do some frost for kicks. <laughs> I do 12 damage. No. Hey. But I said mental and frost. Splash. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But she's actually slowly ticking down. Um, Shulin is slowed. Slowed one, so can I do two actions this time? I think the other two are finally gone. Yeah, wait. Uh, wait. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, that's correct. It's taken a while. But it does have the, the fangs attack again. Okay. Please do not. 34. Hit. But not a crit. Thank you. Um, that is 30 points of piercing damage. Okay. Can I have a fortitude save? Use injection poison, not, not smelly poison. Okay. Against the 36. Passed. You do not get poisoned. I have rather yes. decent fortitude. Um, and it's got a slap, slapping attack. What, well, shouldn't you slap? 27. It is not effective. 27 misses? Okay. Uh. We keep on moving. Who, oh, Azzy, who's back? Welcome back, Azzy. Yes, um... I mean, I'm just going to do what I do best. Let's just keep hitting it. Oh, yeah. One action... Uh, I call back the boomerang back towards me for another attack. For 13 this time. Okay. 29. That's really low damage. It is really low damage. Um, worse if he saves. 37 to save, so yes. Okay. And then I'm going to um, I'm just yeah I guess I'm just going to send I tell you, I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and demoralize um, okay. just the, the sheer force of the storm and the again it's because I I don't need to speak the language or anything, so I'm just going to attempt to demoralize. I guess it, that, that fucking won't do it. <laughs> Never mind. And then finally just a regular attack. 36 to hit. 36 hits. Are you doing or cold? Cold damage. Are you sure? Were you here for when I did my hit? No. Cold, Bludgeoning uh, it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bludgeoning then. Yeah. Um, so, bludgeoning damage it is. Um, doing a straight up hit, so it's 17 points of physical damage. Okay. It's changing color slowly. I know. But the thread is still there. <laughs> Um, I was going to say, how, how's it feeling? <laughs> is that everything? Everybody? Uh, that's, is that all as you said? Yep, that's my turn. That's okay. okay. Jake. Uh, well, I can't do slow again. It's because that's only... I need a long rest after I can do that. Because of the and next spell. And it slows finally gone, I believe? Uh, no, it goes at the end of its turn. Oh, sorry. End of my turn. Okay. So, but that there's nothing we do that can affect it. Um, what's the cool action? No, I'm just going to hit it with the giant thing. For a 40. 
Okay. Not it's a crit. Not a Dang it. <laughs> it's not a crit still. But it is. 17 points of damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm going to do that again. That's not a crit either. That's not crit. That's the other way. That's a natural one, by the way. Yeah. So let's pull that. I'm uh, assuming you're not going to want to re-roll that when you've got one left. Yeah, fuck it. We'll pile on damage. We'll do it. No, not ro we're not re-rolling. We got that right. Yeah. So it is a melee attack. Um, <laughs> ignore the coffee in the background. Um, <laughs> you take D8 persistent bleeding as it nicks you on the way back on too much follow through. How can a bludgeoning attack nick me? So how much bleeding was it? Um, I <laughs> can't remember, so I'm just rolling the D6. I think it was D8, but I, I can't really pull the same card back again once it's gone. Yeah. Um, uh, so five persistent bleed. Yep. Yeah. So I'll tick at the end of your turn. And I will run... Well, I'll do a medicine check to see if I can get rid of the persistent bleed then. Uh-huh. So I still have one turn left. Or 22. I think that's a yes. You get no, of... Let's see yeah. if persistent bleed then. I don't... I don't think so. Think that's how that works? Huh? I think... No, you just have a straight up. No, you still have the piston blade, but you do it. You don't add anything to the medicine. It's a. So I think can check, that. Isn't it? Um. You can take steps to help yourself, or an ally can help you, allowing you to attempt an additional flat check before the end of your yeah. turn. Okay. This is usually an activity requiring two actions, and That's it must enough. be something that would reasonably improve your chances. Okay. So it's flat check in my turn. All right, fair enough. Then I will just. Yeah, and it's a DC fifteen flat check. Okay. So um... how are you trying to stop the bleeding? It requires two actions. You can't. Oh, I can't. What? Yeah, no, I can't. So, um, I am going to. Look through my actions, figure out what I can do. Well, it can't go any worse. Attack it again. It can go worse than you did. <laughs> how is that possible? It's two ones in a row. I said the words. That's how it's possible. You All tempted right? the gods. Mm -hmm. I tempted the gods. <laughs> hey, I'm getting all the natural ones out now so everyone else can get better rolls later. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Not how, how it works. things work. I like to Um. You drop the weapon you made the attack with. Oh, fair enough. That just means I waste a turn next turn hitting it. Picking it up. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. Not the worst And thing. Okay, so... Can you take five damage and then do a, a yep. flat 15. To see if it goes away. On medicine, yeah. It's going to go away. No, no, no. no, no. You, it's a flat oh, check. Flat. Blech. <laughs> but you did roll a 16 on the die. We'll Brain. take that. It Brain goes away. At the moment. I apologize. So you take five and then it goes away. Yep. Man, if it was a DC 15 medicine check, I would never take persistent yeah. bleed damage. I have like a plus 19. It's great. I have a plus 15. It's nice. Uh, okay, anyway, that's my turn. And it's on to Lyra. Um, can you do a fortitude? My medicine's actually 21. My medicine's great. Can I do that instead of this? <laughs> no. no. What a tune. 17! <laughs> you take another 46. And we're rolling. Parallels will be one. Parallels will be one of the worst conditions in any role playing game. It can be, yeah. Paralyzed, charmed, and dominated. I'm just hoping it. Here's the thing: if it were a spell causing this paralysis, and if it were on anyone other than me, <laughs> it would be fine. Yeah. But it's on me, and it's a natural effect. 
so casting like remove paralysis doesn't work on it. So I'm just over here vibing. I'm hoping this is one of those poisons that uh, has a maximum duration. Yeah. I think it's a few hours. No, I mean for the damage. Oh. Yeah. Because you're not going to make I'll that be more concerned with the da- yeah. I'll be more concerned with the damage ticking. I have... And how many I, stage, how many rounds it goes for. Yeah. I have, I think it's like a 10% chance of passing. Or it mm. might be 15, because I need an 18. So on an 18, 19, or 20, I pass. But um, there is a chance. But yeah, that, that, I think, only moves me up one. And I need to be up more than one. It's less damage every time you go. But at up. least if I'm up one, then I'm not par- paralyzed anymore, and I can do things. No, like <laughs> that's for that's for two to six hours. That's now long. Then what am I doing fortitude saves for? To stop that poison tick the damage, of the damage, which is yeah. the more, which is probably the biggest threat right now, because you know it's what? going to keep going. Until it runs out of rounds. We know this game's ending, so if I die, I die. (laughs) (laughs) And let's not do that, but yeah. Um, I don't want to die, but like, if I if I take in the stack seriously right now, it's not going to be great for my mental health, so I'm not going to do that. (laughs) So, um, Pidgeot. Um, I am going to spend one action moving closer. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Till I reel to help out next turn. And then I've got one acid flask left. And one dread ampule left. It's one damage. Oh, hey, the acid flask kit. Uh, yeah. That's, that's not the hard part. It, it's the seven persistent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, good one. Acid Flask is all persistent. <laughs> uh, and actually, it's eight persistent. Eight persistent? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so and that's uh, my turn. Splash damage as well. Scaly, I think that you've done the most. I mean, everyone's been doing damages, but because of those, those little ticks, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. those little ticks are adding up. Yeah. Yeah. Every single round. Um. Like consistent little damages all the time. Um. It is Shulin's go or Shulin's go. Um. It's. Tunnels under the ground. Uh, reactive strike. Sure. Bonk. Yeah. Gonna punch it. I'm gonna punch. I'm... Oh, shivers. That's right. You know what? Flip it. Yeah, we're gonna uh-huh. get it. But 34. <laughs> 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 I'm just bludgeoning. I'm just bludgeoning. It's bludgeoning. Um, it is bludgeoning. 10 points of bludgeoning damage. I bonk on his head as it tries to go away. <laughs> um, you can see the color. So, um, it's wow. it's tunneling. There's a it's, decent chance of it dying underground. It, I, I'm saying, I'm calling it now. It's out of there. <laughs> like, legit out of there. You got it down to a I bad enough it's way. It's going because of its pers- persistent damage. And there's persistent damage as well. I kill it, though. Uh. Uh, on yeah, on behalf of our uh, revenge cleric, does how far does the persistent damage take? Does it manage to kill it? <laughs> well, I'm just thinking to like solve whatever the fuck is going on in this tower. If it just goes down under there and sleeps and does fine, then like the Honestly, tower is not gonna be fixed. I don't think it's related to the tower. I think it's just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of tasty I mean, lizards. Like, gotta like, be something else we have to do here. Oh, really? There's a thing above. <laughs> yeah, but you know what yeah, it's get supposed to. to be above, though. That's where it's supposed to be. 
Yeah. There's ghosts. I was all for murdering the ghosts, but no one wanted to do that. I'm not opposed to it, but... but... Are we effectively out of combat? You are effectively out of combat because you got it to a stage where its life is in danger, as in... Like, one failed spell, one fa- one, like... Yeah, and the... Curse never lets us kill things. I do. No, creatures, natural creatures I know, have I'm no joking. preservation instincts. <laughs> so, some creatures are written up, they will fight to death. Uh, Others are written up, they will leave at a certain amount. Often when it says they will leave at a certain amount, you take twice that in one round. <laughs> they can, or three times that in one round before they can even get to act. In this sure. one, it's like, oh, crap. No, you've, you, you, that, no, it's out of there. <laughs> and it's got a persistent damage to have an issue with. Um, there is a, a skeleton with a stuff there, and you do have Lario in a paralyzed state for quite a while. Just chilling. I tip her over and then I, I uh, <laughs> uh, oh, put a tonic in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> healing tonic? Or Does the tonic like... actually help? Uh, yes, it's past healing five for one minute. So okay, 50 health. Cool. I'm back up to full. It's, um, can you have a... Well, I was going to say, like, there was only one more tick of the poison. Oh. Sure, do you want to roll the poison? No, I, I saw where your health was. It wasn't going to... It would have gotten you close. Even, even max out with the 4d6, it would have gotten you closer, but it wouldn't have dealt. Yeah. But it had, like, poison had a certain amount of rounds. Yeah. And you had a certain amount of rounds, yeah. Oh, well, that, could have, that could have gone better. I mean, you could have come out of the... How about you? Are you okay? The ghosts into that. Uh, I'm okay for the moment. And Jake will reach down, pick up the Great Maul, puts it back on his back like Cloud in Final Fantasy. So what do we do with her? Um, oh Besides pose her like a mannequin. Let's not do that. Okay. No, no. You don't want them to wake up and be... Probably true. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Can I roll... I presume, presume Laryl is conscious throughout all of this. Probably. You don't know. Laryl, can you, if you can hear us, can you blink? Blinks nope. are caused by muscles. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was say, can you glare? But glaring is just general. Um, well, actually, should we take a... Break? I hope the breathing okay. muscles are working. Lyriel always has this aura of glaring around her. <laughs> For Jake specifically. Like, fidget and assy don't feel it. Why is always Jake? Jake is a wonderful good boy. Jake's like, I'm feeling judged for some reason. Pretty much. So, we'll take a break. We'll really be back. Um, see if we're going to have a <laughs> holy water bath for Lyriel while they're um, paralyzed. Just in case. That won't fix anything. <laughs> it might cure some personality issues. But I don't no, know. You can't cure them. No, you can't, can you? No. no. It's baptism, isn't it? You just have to work on it. Anyway. You we'll realize about... that Lyriel is religious, right? Yes, but it's the wrong religion. It's not an wow. evil religion. I know, wow. I know, I know, I know. Come on. Spin on. Let's go. We'll be back. Um, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. See you soon. Um, yeah. Yeah.
And we're back. Yay. Hey. <laughs> That was an easy fight. Was it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like one of us almost could have just sat out the whole thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Question is, what are we going to do now? Yeah, no. this feels like... I was just going to say, you know, like, there's a thing above you, but it's a long way up. Is is the orb floating there? Yeah, does it's something and floating. wrong with it? Um, it's not flickering like the first one you've seen. It's not being drained like the second one. But it is still floating. And do you know that if you want to get something from it, you need to be closer. Oh, okay. Now I get it. I thought we had to fix something. Maybe. So does it broken. This doesn't look like it's broken. But yeah. I mean, Lyra is still broken. paralyzed for yeah. the next yeah. what eight hours. Can we try to? How long help? does that last for? I think Car said it was nine hours. I'm assuming it was nine it hours. Passes. Mm -hmm. Oof. It was legit nine, nine hours. hours. Could have been up to twelve. Oh. So it's still above average. Well. While we're waiting uh, to find out what uh, L'Oreal is thinking, uh, Jake will go around and just search the area. I'll be right back. I just got to get something. Roll play amongst yourselves. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't have anything to help with paralysis. Uh, neither do I. When Kash comes back, I'm going to give him a pitch. Yeah, I think we're just waiting. <laughs> because of I mean, we can just kind of skip eight hours. Sorry. Yeah. So, sorry, I had to get a COVID test. Ah, fun. <laughs> not, not mine, but I'd probably have to take one too, because yeah. apparently Reasons. I might have brain frog. I love brain frogs. Mmm. Looking through my stuff, I'm just trying to see if I've got anything. Well, like the idea I have is, since we don't do shopping episodes, with the amount of trauma Jake has and paralyzed and powerless, <laughs> would he have a, a potion on him at all times to get rid of it? Because of the trauma from the first couple of episodes of being slowed. I will allow it. Po allow I don't post know if there allow. is one. There is. It's only like is a level there? six item. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's also um, um, the blood of. There we go. Because there, I know that there's a salve, but that's magical paralysis. This isn't magical paralysis. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, I want now that we're out of combat. I want to kind of uh, identify what that creature was. <laughs> Fine. Um, nope. Naked mole rat. <laughs> I can just. Out of try myself. <laughs> Only slightly less note. Um, the old giant <laughs> naked mole rat, it seems. Wow, they grow big around here. Mm hmm. I've never seen. Don't they usually have a queen? I mean, if only you got higher, I could give you something about, about them. If there's a bigger thing than that, I do not want to know. I would just, like, find a comfortable place to set Lariel down and light, so she can have a light lie down while we figure out how the fuck to solve this. Well, go just uh, wait. Yeah. I think we just have to wait. I right, think you might waiting. be waiting and just okay. like solving and yeah. trying to figure to get something out. Yeah, so if we're waiting, then I will go all over to the armor, have a look at it, figure out what type of armor it is. How I long was it again? Nine hours. Nine hours. Okay. Long time. Enough time for you to do some more processing on T-Rex meat. 
Yeah, the, the die I just rolled was how many hours it would take for Fidget to get bored. Because <laughs> <laughs> I always have ideas. Oh, God. That, that's like... an hour, not minutes? Okay, sure. I think there's things to do. Like get sure. out of bed for all and, and make sure that Lariel's comfortable. Lick all of the rocks just to see if any taste different. All of them. It is a oh, breastplate. Oh, okay. The skeleton looks like it's been crushed under debris, mm -hmm. um, but the breastplate is still solid. It would take some work to get it out, but you've got time. Yes, we do have time, so I will spend the time and get the breastplate yeah. out. I'll help. Like, strangely, it's like, it looks like it's from like made from bronze with okay. reinforced golden panels. Oh, great. It has the lion's to, head. It belongs to an officer. They never let you do anything. Well, not too bad. I'll have a look at that yeah, one. Closer than you think. <laughs> Wait, it's You're made kidding. out of Tambega? Hmm? No. Bronze lion's head. I, it, it sounds familiar in the sense of like it's got to be the sigil of some sort of city or something or that. god is it it's not that would, uh, from traveling in the Mwangi with it would that sound familiar uh, you, you gone off the way in the wrong the wrong direction with what i said mm -hmm. okay overthinking things way off the wrong direction are there any weird runes etched into it no. Hmm. The cloth, That's please return to. But with the age of the person, ones would have really rusted badly and tarnished and doesn't seem to have it's still shining bronze. So I assume it's magical. Hmm. If it's lasted this long and not gone tarnished, it's got to have something with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have Danify, do I? Uh, Asi might be able to do magical identification. Um, Lyriel well, certainly can, but there's a problem with that. Yeah. Hey, Lyriel, well, is this that... magical? <laughs> what would that Blink once be? for yes, twice for no. It's your magical ability. Though I guess I don't know. Cause, I so, don't it, like, what have you said? Yeah. Oh, Sorry, you gotta wait nine hours. <laughs> I guess I could try nature, because that's. I can do it with crafting, apparently. Yeah. I didn't oh. realize I picked up that feat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can also craft magical items, too, but that takes way too long. Yeah. More than nine hours. More than nine hours, yeah. So the limit of boredom. What is it with a 27? Um, what's the difficulty? It's like um, 15 plus the level of the item? It's more complicated than that, sadly. Oh, of um, course. Um, easiest way is just look up the item and yeah, they usually list the TC. What's the item's level? 10. I'm assuming it would be a DC 27 then. That's or at least I... that's like the normal okay. DC by level. Okay. I usually do like 15 plus plus the item or the whatever the level it is. Um, so the past was 27. Um, it's... Certainly got something about officer. It's command. A breastplate of command. Ooh. Okay. Um, so that's what I meant, like, you're close, but you went <laughs> off way wrong direction. Not on um, and bronze. So, Exciting. Yeah, plus two on diplomacy checks, but mm. minus two on stealth. Yeah, this thing's terrible. terrible. <laughs> um, you had allies uh, within 100 oh. plus 2 to s saves all against fear <laughs> um, yeah I am going to be That's the anti very... I am the anti-fear anti person now yeah because you've already so got anti -fear stuff already but is it a status bonus Oh, yeah, you can only have one stats bonus at a time, can't you? No, it reduces. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, but it your your previous effect reduces fear, and this also reduces fear. Okay. 
So the status bonus, it, and it's I really think the reductions decide. do double up. Yeah. Whereas bonuses, you can only have with, one with the each amount day. this game throws at you. I, I like you can double it if you, if that's a if that helps. But but at the same time, you can count. You you you've shown how far she can counter golems when she know what the weakness is. So I was like, yeah. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. Well, that's stiff. Definitely, I think uh, increase over the splint mail I've been using for the last two seasons, three seasons. Yeah. Oh yeah, just uh, the plus yeah. one resilient breastplate part is good. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, I'll cl I'll clear it up, make sure it's ready to be worn later, and just look around see if if we can see anything wrong with the Aeon Stone, if we actually need to do any repair work. Or if I mean, it's hard to say you're you're 160 feet below it. Oh, yeah, with that too. Jake, hold this rope. Hold the rope. I tie it around my waist, and I get close to that hole in the middle, and I want to look down. <laughs> you 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 want to go searching for the mole? No, I just want to look down that hole, see if there's anything down there. From here. <laughs> there. No, there's nothing there. <laughs> okay. It's been driving me crazy. What hole? I can see it. What what hole? There? Right there. That's not a hole. It's That's a just rock. A different. rock. The rock. It looks different. It's, it's a, a bad rock. rock. It's I just a rock. I, mean. I know exactly what you mean because it looks like something highlighted. Mm. Yeah, but, it yeah. does. It has like darkness around it in that it looks like there might be a hole underneath the rock. The, I couldn't even see it because I had like the, <laughs> the fading of like the gem layer. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, I think that's just on a lot of the rocks. Yeah. So not like a hole. Like faint black outline. Yeah, it almost felt like that thing in Legend of Zelda where the the bricks are a slightly different shade. <laughs> So you're 160 feet below the iron stone. I thought you were gonna like pull out some magic stuff that like let you make the rope like firm and stable, I mean, and then you were gonna climb I was it or something. Like the snake charmer's rope, yeah. that would be cool. Yeah, I would go up. But we're just we're just chilling. Um. Yeah. So I'm guessing nine hours. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, you guys don't do anything in about <laughs> nine hours? Oh, we do basic work. I, I, I think I, fairly early on I proposed we just go back to camp. And oh, then God. couldn't figure out how to move Lyriel. Yeah, shit. Yes, she's heavier than all three of us combined. That is probably true. <laughs> It probably a bit well, Jake. yeah. It, it adding in Jake in the mix because I'm assuming Shuni's way more. They're more stout. Yeah, we're stocky, <laughs> uh, as opposed to just a teeny tiny. But I think, yeah. Okay. So nine hours pass. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, and I the could... naked mole rat doesn't return. It's learned his yeah, lesson. Let's try, let's try and find clothes. Yeah. You try and find clothes that fit that thing. You can't buy uh -huh. the shelf. Welcome back. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you, Fidget. How are you feeling? I think, I think as he probably just dozed off. I was Rusty? Having, a bit of a mm. haven't had a proper fight in a while, so. Did the bedroll help at all? It did. Thank oh, you, good. dear. Okay, well, well, I think the next question is, how are we going to get to that? I can... <laughs> I can get up there and see if maybe there's something wrong with it. But... Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. What's... <sighs> Give me a second. Just want to double check. Yeah, no. 
Uh, Asi, just to be kind, do you want to um look away? Why? Just to be kind. I see. No, it's okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. And uh, she will summon her celestial wings and these bright, um, pale feathered wings that remind Azzy and Jake a, a little bit of the wings of um, the divine snake-like creatures at the menagerie, the ones that were, you know, devils in disguise, um, but in disguise as, as Azada's um, spring forth uh, from Lyriel's back. They're just barely translucent in that you can't quite tell if you can only see through them because you know what's behind them or if there is actually a little bit of in intangibility to it. Um, and she just uh, beats the wings and takes off into the air. As he uh, thought he was ready, but really wasn't. And, <laughs> and like, he just, like, no you see him, like, tense. And, uh, uh, and just, like, at first, and then the second it happens, he, like, looks, and then just, like, his eyes is suddenly just, like, diverting elsewhere. Could Evil Real do that? You did see the Evil Lyriel did have... Uh, when she turned back into her demonic form, did have uh, thick bat-like demon wings. Okay. Um, succubus so. wings, to be more precise. Yeah, succubus wings. Um, and yeah, Lyriel will fly up to the Aeon Orb and try and see if there's something wrong with it. <laughs> we'll give it a little... <laughs> Hitting on the side, trying to see if it's uh, if it just needs a bit of a Percussion maintenance. Per yeah, percussive maintenance. <laughs> it shatters into a million pieces. <laughs> so now I get to bring out the dragon. Awesome. Um, no, um, you fly up to the drag to the Eono, and mm -hmm. um, it it does hold, it does rotate mm -hmm. around nothingness. There's nothing for it to rotate, yeah. but the others have rotated as well. Um, you, it does give off a. a a positive energy. Um, mm -hmm. There's, there's, it's not flickering. It doesn't seem to be drained at all. But it is like as as you get closer and closer, um, mm -hmm. it glows a little bit brighter and brighter, and that positive energy starts overwhelming you, and you will get a resonant reflection. So, do I get the sense that it's okay? It we seems to be okay. To be yes, it seems to be okay. Lyriel's a little annoyed because that means that we didn't actually need to go here if the orb <laughs> is fine. Oh, well, you gotta double check. I mean, granted, like, she didn't have a choice in being here, so... Oh, that though. <laughs> um, well, they said Lyriel gets a resonant reflection. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm no. getting to Everybody. it, Card. I know, and I'm getting to it, Card. You gonna hold the rope for them? No, I'm just gonna go down and pick them up. <laughs> One at a time. We're all, we're all small. We're so uh, very small. <laughs> they are. They are all small coaches. Yeah. We're gonna. We're gonna. Oh, we're evil. gonna do a little RP, okay? I'm gonna do a little RP, but it just internally, like Lyriel is thinking, like there, there is not necessarily a purpose to being here because, you know, we didn't have to do anything specific to do this. Though, 
she mitigates that thought. She's like, okay, well, you know, maybe we did have to kill the Zolgavs and then do this or whatever to take out the threat and then just get close enough. So she tries to make herself feel better by thinking about um, that. Also, the uh, fact that you're kidnapped and, like, if they didn't come here, you wouldn't have been found. Well, yeah, but she's kind of okay with that. She's she, life still fully believes that she would have gotten out eventually. She had a couple other things in the work, but mm, it was miserable. So it's nice to not be currently miserable. Um. Oh, I need to take that down to three because I used one of those. Um. But yeah, she will go down. Uh, just as you look at her. Uh, yes. Although, kind of like, it's like, it's like, it's like, trying not to look at the wings. Mm-hmm. Just trying to like, and you, you see him like, very deliberately just, he's very much in his own head at the moment, and he's very deliberately just like, deliberately breathing slowly. She just holds out a hand to him. You don't have to if you don't want to. Tape, and I can yeah, take that's... some. Yeah, take the others first. I, I, I um. Shift to hold a hand out to Fidget. Yay! Uh, <laughs> I'm flying, and Jack. I'm flying. She'll <laughs> grab on pretty tightly uh, to Fidget. And now that she has Fidget in her arms, she's a little bit more performative with the flying. Uh, she takes Fidget on a little loop on the way up <laughs> as opposed to just going straight up. Um, it's just a little bit more fancy with it. Makes it uh, makes it a fun ride. Hands up like no, a roller coaster. <laughs> You know, Fidget's a kiddo. <laughs> yeah. Um, once you get close within 10 foot, you get a resident reflection. Yeah. Same thing. So, is that the next? Or... Uh, yeah. Lyra would, or Ly would go to Jake next. It ended too and fast. be like, none of the armor or any of that fine i only i can only hold so much weight <laughs> uh weight Looks lifting down is not my nice belly good point all right let's get let's get this done pudgy puggy yeah. Ch- chubby puggy Ch- Ch- chubby puggy pudgy pudgy and lyriel even like has to take off like the bag of holding and like some of her own stuff mm. to manage uh that weight Lyriel is not strong. <laughs> she is not strong. She does not have good constitution. Mm. But she she is trained in athletics, so I think she can take mm-hmm. Jacob. So again, yeah. once you, if you can get within 10 feet, mm-hmm. get a resident reflection. Mm-hmm. That's that. Not saying what it is yet until everybody <laughs> who's going to get it is get has got it. I was going to say, does that mean I'm slightly shinier? <laughs> that tingly feeling, remember? The no. tingles. It was more than a week ago. I don't remember. Just, uh, <laughs> sits. First episode, actually, for you. Uh, sits on one of the rocks when they get back down and looks at Assy and just says, We have time. Not much. I don't get to keep them. But we have some time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And if we want to rest here, we can do it in the morning. Or whenever works uh, best for you, if you want longer. No, it's okay. I'm not gonna... Let, let's just get it. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Would you like the theatrics? No, no. Nothing like that. And she just takes Azzy straight up and straight down. And you all gain a resonant reflection, the, the tingles, the tingly feeling. This is the resonant oh, reflection yeah. of stone. 
She does. Uh, when she takes Azzy down, she would take Azzy down over here. Uh, because she is then going to uh, fly Fidget and Jake out of the pit. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the point. That's smart. <laughs> Thank I, you. I don't know why you're doing it to there, not like to the <laughs> ledge or to the ground. That's a fifteen foot fall. She Stop takes them there, and then she will uh, fly over here. And if they want carrying down, she'll carry them down too. But that's it's the fifteen foot drop as opposed to the forty foot climb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The drop is a yeah. little easier to manage. And there was also a rope, which was possible. But um, yeah. So the resonant reflection of stone, any creature that manages to approach within 10 feet of the Aeon Orb of the crumbled life foot stone gains the resonant reflection called the reflection of stone. Um, your body is infused with the resilience and durability of stone. You are protected against the effects of severe cold and severe heat. In addition, you can focus on this durability to gain an additional effect. Activation um, costs two actions. Um, frequency once per day. You can cast stone skin as an innate divine Ooh. spell. Heightened uh -huh. to the spell equal to half your level rounded up. So nice. level five stone skin. Stone skin. Resistance fire to physical damage. Except adamantine. Which was kind of what the the thing had. But more so. Hmm. And the golems too. Mm. Adamantium could have been very powerful against them. Oh yeah, no. Oh, good me. Oh, there you go. Ain't cheap though. God no. And as as you're on the stone and coming down, you see a large figure moving up the stairs. Oh great. Okay. Um just adjusting. How large? I'm assuming we took 10 minutes to refocus. I yeah. mean, we've been yes. doing that for nine hours, so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> after Lyriel woke up. Yeah. So you see yeah. a large figure wandering up the stone stairs, staircase. It goes up to your platform. Um, I say large, it's a golem. But this looks to be carved as a female dwarven golem. Oh boy, here we go. Can I perceive it? Yes, you can perceive in, it. As in, I mean, can I uh, work out its intent? Can we like, do a sense it, motive? That's sense what motive, for. yes. <laughs> I know we don't have sense motive in this game. The sense perception. motive is a perception check, though. Yes. yes. So that's, yeah. You're absolutely correct on what one you want to say. Um, there's multiples. <gasps> there's even more multiples. That's and really horrible, bad for me. Some have more skill than others. Yeah. God, wow. that's awful. Uh, across the like board. I rolled a set. God. To make it easier, um, <laughs> as they're approaching, they got their hands up. Oh. To show clear intent that they are not here to hurt you. It's a trap. Lyriel um, is still suspicious. <laughs> so, the squat clay golem sculpted vaguely to assemble an enormous female dwarf. The golem's hands are raised in the air, stubby fingers splayed in a, gen in a gesture of surrender. As they're working their way up the stairs towards your platform. Doesn't do anything. Maybe guess. Just stay ready. Stay I ready. Jake. Need the door, which is probably still black. The blackened I entrance. I'm <laughs> going to just 
Yeah, I'm gonna be right here. Uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And waits for the golem to come up. What brings? Yeah. Oh no, Lyriel's gonna talk to this thing before it gets anywhere near close. So there. What brings? They're still below. Yeah. What brings below. you here? What's? I've always been here. What do you want with us? You, you just want to go. You you dealt with my masters and I I want to leave. Who are your masters? It it looks fearful. Like it like looks fearful and says the ones inside. The ghosts? Yes. Wait, we dealt with the ghosts? Wait, the ghosts? They died? Uh, that's yeah. usually how ghosts. ghosts are made. We only saw ghosts inside. The masters are the dwarves that, that live in this temple. Yeah, that would be that. They created that all the others around here. I've been playing uh, for I've been running from them for a long time. Running from your masters? Yes. Congratulations then. Do you intend to hurt anyone when you leave? No, why would I hurt anybody? Perfect. Go be free. <laughs> I can leave? Yeah. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. I'm not stopping you. Do your own goal. If you have any friends, they can leave too. Starts walking down the tower. Those two weren't friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> if they were, they aren't anymore. Um, uh, can I get a crafting or a... Um... Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, That's no. why I'm not. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you got plus like 20 and rolled yeah. one. Would you like to re-roll that? I, I was going to say nah. crafting or alchemy. Oh, not alchemy, um... Arcana. Arcana. Arcana, yeah. I've already rolled. Can't do it. I got a plus three in both of those, so I think I'm going to pass. I got plus, plus one, one in both of those. But I'm gonna I have anyway. plus 12 in Arcana. <laughs> if Kash will allow it, can I roll Arcana? Yeah. Thank you. Is it that's just, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Much better. Does, does Fidget want to re-roll? I don't think uh, Fidget has Arcana. Oh. No, but as in re-roll the, the one, the natural one. Because Fidget has a plus 20 on good. this. Fidget oh, thinks yeah. that the golems were in a uh, polyamorous love <laughs> triangle. Does the... Does the... <laughs> Does the golem oh. with a job? I should have used that card in the battle. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to become important in the battle. What does it do? <laughs> uh, it, uh, after you fail an attack roll, you get a success instead. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That would be very convenient. <laughs> a lot of position damage. Uh, I will uh, get rid of that one to reroll my crafting check. <laughs> Not much better. Oh, God. Slightly better. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. I can't give it to you. Yep, that's how it, how it is. I just, like, 22 to 20, no. I, All yeah, right. Plus 20. Anyway, um, you see the, the golem walk away um, from your vantage point, goes around. That's walking away. Okay. Um, the as you're watching, how long do you watch for? Enough that I'm, we can. You you got a vantage point. You can see miles. Yeah. Um, Not that long. I'm gonna do something absolutely stupid. She uh, the the golem said we the masters are gone. I'm gonna go inside the inside the ghost room. Mm. I wonder if it wants to buy a ticket to the circus. You get 
Once again, you see the, the you feel that chill as you go through that blackness. Mm -hmm. um, the mess that was once there is it's it's mostly cleaned. There's but like there's no real evidence of it there, but you can still see broken shards up back on the shell. Okay. First off, I wait a few minutes. Am I being attacked? Do I hear anything in here? You wait a few minutes. Ah, oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I'm okay. trying to get attacked. Saving throw, please. Will. Okay, so they're still there, is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Will saving throw. Even though I've got. Even though uh, reflection. Yeah, will saving throw. Okay, yeah, no, they're still there. Bye. 23. <laughs> and again. No, 33. Okay. Is it a fear effect? Nope. Okay. Okay. Um, so, you, ch as you go in there, you're like, you're checking it out or not. You're still in there. Ten minutes later. 15 minutes later. Well, we wouldn't leave no, him in there. Not for that long. Yeah. No, Are you going so, in? No, yeah, well, yeah, first not. Oh. Okay. If he Is doesn't come in? out within two minutes, then I'm, I'm going in. He doesn't come out within yeah. like 30 seconds. Jake, Jake, Jake is, Jake is at, at the table. Um, At the table, writing. Uh, okay. I'm just going to grab yeah, new. his Jake. shirt collar and drag him out. <laughs> what? I'm going to look at what he's... Come... Hey, buddy, I'm going to try and get his attention. Um, you said you were going to look. I heard that. Um, Jake is riding in Dwarven. Mm -hmm. Oh, What's it say? I don't know. I don't it speaks Dwarven. And I think of that we might be ending today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> What's it say? All it's work and no play makes Jake a dull boy. <laughs> Red uh, Rum. Red Rum. I, I, I can't remember who speaks Dwarven here or reads Dwarven, but... It's me. It's you, but you want the one that read it. So we'll end it right there. <laughs> um, for those that were watching the Golem walk away, you see in the distance the golem gets to a point and then stops. Uh, and couldn't go any further. But also right. at that distance, the golem has like some um, some wild boars following. <laughs> a little bit of flavour there. But I think we're going to end there. And come back in a couple of weeks' time. Sure thing. Yeah. Yeah. Jay, <laughs> you've got spells now. I'm a possessed doggy. <laughs> you've got spells now. <laughs> Your body has. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, like at will cone of cold, perchance? Yeah, and worse. That'd be convenient. And worse. But um, we'll be back next week with the possessed Jake, Blazing Fury. Um, he knows how to craft golems. Oh. Yay! You know how to craft. Oh, well, that's good. Who do you think made all The body knows how to make them. Yes. Yeah, well, maybe you can retain <laughs> yeah. some of that knowledge. Oh, the um, soul knows how to make them. Body yeah. implies that you have, uh, like, Muscle well, memory or something. Well, technically, <laughs> does that mean you have to roll my crafting check to make the golems? Because that's not going to happen. Mm. So you, see, you see, Jake was like hundreds of little knowledge, puppies. isn't it? Yeah, knowledge based. So probably uh, not. Probably not. I think you're good with that. Uh, but yes, um, Jake just got possessed by one of the two. Hooray. And everyone else came in. And Azzy's next. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and um, we'll be back 
um, in two weeks' time. But we'll do our outros and we'll do everything else and we'll, yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> so, Mr. Live Producer. Hello, I'm Jake Blades in Fury, who's currently possessed by a ghost, so I don't know who the hell I am. Well, I want, um, I want to, actually, do I have a name? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, you are Jomi Grundwin. I'm, I'm that person. And um, I'll be, how long have we got? We've got two weeks next show? Yeah. So you, um, if you want to see me on other networks, please, thank you. Jomi Grundwin. Pardon me. I'm horrible. I'm horrible at pronouncing names. I'm horrible at it. Um, mm -hmm. You can catch me all over social networks, same name, everywhere, doing VR content, doing... I do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of stuff. And you will we'll catch you in two weeks' time. Uh, can you go? Hi, everyone. I'm Del, and I've been playing uh, Lai. I don't exist anywhere else. Um, in fact, I stop existing as soon as the camera stop rolling, so no need to try and find me. Um, but it's been great. Look forward to seeing you guys in a few weeks, and I'm very excited to see the future fallout of Live's Wings. <laughs> That's a fun one. <laughs> you, you still got the wings? What uh, for about 10 minutes, so she has the wings while we're in here. Yeah. <laughs> On the upside, you can go out the other door. You know where it goes. Yeah. If you still at the wings. I'm just gonna have to figure out how he. Uh, I don't think he's. I don't think as he. I think it must might be the first time as he's ever felt proper envy. <laughs> <laughs> because he's not been envious of a lot of people in his life until until and now it's like this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Loki? Well, <laughs> I'm Loki, and I have been uh, Fidget the fi Fireworks Flinger. And there are so many mushrooms in the world. I could, I could spend years just talking about the way it's the different mushrooms taste. Uh, most of them have that lovely meaty, uh, mushroomy taste. Uh, but I did want to talk about fly agaric, which you definitely do not want to eat. It's that famous one with the red with the white spots on top. It's great. Uh, it has a slightly seafood taste to it. But agaric just means mushroom. So it's just what, fly mushroom? Yeah, basically, yeah. It's the right. iconic mushroom that you think of when you think of a, like a cartoon mushroom. I, I just want to add to that. Um, when I used to be in a medieval society, I was a part of agaricus. We were the mushrooms. I have yeah, no you'll idea. You'll be sick for like 12 hours. Right. Sleep's good. If you wake up. Sick. You'll oh, be sick for 12 sick. hours. 12 hours. I thought <laughs> said sleep 12 hours. Sleep, sleep 12 hours is awesome, but no, not sick. Um, Lauren. Hi, I've been Lauren. I've been playing Azzy, the couple kineticist. You can find me on YouTube and SoundCloud and wherever you stream your music. Um, yeah, still plugging away at stuff. I've just got the finished artwork for my album, so that's coming soon, ish. Um, yeah, uh, not much new in, in on my end. Okay. Um, so last week we were supposed to do the sixth anniversary or sixth birthday of the channel. Didn't happen, so we're going to try it again tomorrow. It's a little bit delayed, but um, hey, we're we're a role playing channel on Twitch and what's more suitable than having our sixth birthday postponed due, due to unavailabilities and technical issues. Just like that's just perfect for a role playing channel. Mm -hmm. um, just makes sense in my mind. So we're gonna try again tomorrow. We're playing Dragon's Den, which is a AD sorry a D and D first ed first edition box um, adventure. But it also includes the um, board game rules, which is what we're going to be playing the board game. So it's going to be fun, going to be different. It's cooperative, but there's ways for the GM to win and ways for the players to win, and so and so more. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Um, and um, 
It's been fun. Bye. All the best. Bye.